Hello Aries viewers. Sorry I've been away for a bit. I've been working a lot at my other job, but I am back now. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what the current story is. And as always, you can send me an email if you want a private reading. My email is listed below in the description box, right below this video. The email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Just give my camera a minute to adjust here. It takes usually takes a minute after I lay the cards out. So we have end of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom, happiness, warmth, light. So I think that you just ended a really tough karmic cycle. Now this could be financial. You might have just you might just now be coming out of poverty. I feel like this could also be with love. Um, maybe you just learned a harsh karmic lesson with a um, a karmic soulmate in the not too distant past. Let's see what's going on. So I think there's a lot of mixed emotions. You know, it's like a lot of change. There's like a lot of unexpected changes is kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness, and then we have beauty, mystery, and enchantment. I'm getting the sense overall that you're kind of stepping into the unknown right now. Love offer, commitment, hesitation, mixed feelings. Pride and stubbornness, manipulation, deception, third party, karmic partner. Hmm, tell me more about this energy down here. Publicity, social media, willpower, strength, confidence, X, the past. Trail, jealousy, and conflict. Hmm. Sadness. Motivation forward movement. I think that you cut somebody out. And I think they're kind of watching you right now is the vibe that I'm getting. I'm feeling that... I'm feeling like you're going to have two love offers coming in. And I don't know if I would say it's a test from the universe, but it's almost like it's like you've wrapped this karmic cycle up. And for some, maybe it is your spirit guides testing you, but for others, you know, it's just a coincidence. But what I'm what I'm getting here is that there is going to be one final test, one final battle here where it's like you've wrapped this up, but you're going to be tested. Like, are you really committed to leaving this person behind? Are you really committed, committed to moving on from this? And if you are, I feel like the universe is going to bring you somebody else, somebody better. The thing is, I feel like maybe that this person that you're letting go of, I feel like maybe this was a potential life partner. And I feel like the new person that's coming in is also a potential life partner. I feel like your spirit guides are at this point where they know that you've leveled up. You've, you've been through it financially, spiritually, mentally, with love, all of it. You've just, you've been through the ringer. And it's time for you to have love. It's time for you to have money, to have abundance. So it's kind of like these tower moments coming in and shaking up everything that's not serving you, that's not meant for you and clearing the space for all the love and money and abundance you're asking for to come in. So, um, you know, the next few months are definitely not going to be boring for you is what I'm getting. You know, it's there. the next few months are going to be a lot of things, but they're definitely not going to be stagnant or boring. Um, I'm getting, you know, it's going to be a lot of ups and downs. There's going to, it's going to be emotional. Um, there's going to be some chaos at times, but it's ultimately getting you to what you're asking for. It's ultimately, you know, bringing you to your destiny, to your true love, to, you know, the, the career change or the, um, promotion that you've been asking for, you know, and sometimes that change comes about in chaotic ways. So you're really going to be called to, to trust the process and, you know, continue stepping out of your comfort zone. But what I'm getting is that, you know, this toxic person might have been a potential life partner. Like maybe you would have, maybe they would have um, eventually, you know, worked on themselves with you. But I'm feeling like, like it's basically like you have two choices. Like, yes, they could be a potential life partner, but not necessarily one that you would be truly happy with. You know, it's possible that maybe you guys made soul contracts to be together in this lifetime 
And, you know, they kind of just went off path. Like maybe they didn't stick to that path. And so, you know, now that you guys have found each other, they're actually, you know, they've become a really toxic person. And maybe that's not something they were originally meant to do. But, you know, we have free will, you know. So, so this person might have just become toxic, but maybe deep down they are a good person, but you still don't want to deal with that. If someone's toxic, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to have to go through that. Whereas this other person that, that could come, that has come in or could come in is, you know, much healthier for you. This is another potential life partner. So I feel like, you know, the universe is kind of leaving it up to you. It's like you have free will. So which, which one do you want? Um, I think for a lot of you, for a long time, you were trying to manifest the old potential life partner back, you know, the toxic one. It's like you ended this pattern, this cycle, you know, you had this breakthrough. It was like this final karmic lesson, but I feel like, I just feel like, you know, this person doesn't want to see you with anybody else. They don't want to see you happy with someone else. They see that you've taken your energy back. I think that I think that for a long time you wanted them back. I think for a long time you were watching readings on YouTube being like, when's this person coming back? This is my true love. And then I think as time went on, you kind of started looking at it differently. You're like, wait a minute. Wait a, wait a second here. This person hasn't reached out to me. This person gaslit me or they were toxic or they cheated or they did this and that. It's like your perception on this is just changing. You're leveling up. You know, you're coming into your psychic gifts. You're coming into your power. And so you're not resonating with this person as much anymore. You're not resonating with that path anymore. But I think that this person feels that. I think that they feel that you've cut the cords. Maybe some of you actually did a cord cutting ritual as well. But I feel like this person feels that energy. They feel they feel like you're dating someone new or you're trying to manifest somebody new. Like they, they're getting the sense that your happiness lies elsewhere. You're not focused on them anymore. And they're feeling isolated and alone. And they're going through some really rough karma for what they did to you, whether it was cheating or just um, manipulation, whatever it might have been. Because I do feel like this person was pro probably manipulative and, and deceitful. Um, could have been overly macho as well, male or female. But I'm getting the sense that, you know, they feel alone. They don't want to see with anybody else. And now there's like this sense of mystery here. It's like you're not as predictable. They don't have you on hold anymore they can feel you've taken your energy back so they might be coming in with a love offer here um you need to hesitate though and you need to be honest with yourself because you know this person's still prideful this person is still stubborn you know because i feel like i almost feel like you're not going to get an apology from this person like this person hates apologizing so this person's going to be it's going to be like a half-ass apology you know like something's not going to feel right. Like you're like, don't let your loneliness get the best of you because something will not feel right about the way this person communicates. It's going to feel manipulative, but I do feel like this person's been watching your social media or if you're on a platform, like if you have a YouTube channel or if you have like a TikTok or a, um, you know, Instagram or just any platform really, you know, maybe some of you are like models or actresses or you're just in the public eye. Um, not all of you, but some of you, but I feel like this person's been watching you. And so you're going to need to remind yourself of how it was. Don't romanticize it when this when this comes back around. Remember how prideful and stubborn this was. Remember how long this person went without talking to you or without saying what needed to be said. Um, remember the manipulation, the deception. You know, don't let this person get your power. You know, this could be a psychic vampire. So stay in your power. Stay strong. Stay confident. Keep moving forward. Um... Because like I said, I, I do feel like this person actually was a potential life partner. Like I feel like a lot of you had soul contracts that around this time you would meet two different potential life partners. Um, and you know, it varies a little bit because, you know, free will does come into play. But like I said, I feel like this person wasn't as ready for you as they were supposed to be. And I feel like the other life partner is probably going to be better for you. Even if you haven't met them yet, I feel like they're just going to be more stable. Because um, you got to remember the betrayal you know, the pain that this other person caused, you have to really be honest with yourself here because you've been, it's like you've been working hard to, to move past this person. So you don't want to go back to square one, you know? Courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement. Keep moving forward. Keep stepping out of your comfort zone. You know, don't, don't go back to the familiar. Don't go back to, don't go back to the familiar out of loneliness. 
you know, keep because you're vibrating higher now, like your your perception is changing, you're stepping out of your comfort zone, you're moving forward, continue to do that. You know what I mean? Don't don't slip back into that loneliness and, you know, end up with the wrong person. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, the next few months for you, I feel like I feel like this person that that's afraid of commitment is going to be coming in fast because they've been trying to manifest you back. And I think it's not working like you're not reaching out first or you're just not being vulnerable with them. Like if you guys are talking, you're being kind of short with them. And so I feel like that that's why they're going to move in fast because they're going to see that you're pulling your energy away. Like they've been feeling it, but they've been stubborn um, and prideful and they wanted you to reach out first. But I think they're going to get that they're, they're getting it through their head that that's not going to that's not going to be a thing. Yeah, some of them are mentally unstable, so they're just going to have like they're going to fall into this depression and get nostalgic over you and that's when they're going to reach out um yeah kind of yeah just like heat of the moment maybe like a drunk text or something revealing a hidden truth to you but it, it's i don't know it's a mixed energy because it's like yeah they're revealing a hidden truth like maybe they're t maybe they were secretive before and there was things that they didn't tell you but i just feel like like, they're also planning their approach and choosing their words wisely. I hope that makes sense. It's like it, it's like the message, I feel, is going to be impulsive. But it's going to be... It's something that they've been fighting with themselves for a while. Like, they've been kind of wanting to reach out to you, but they keep thinking, like, no, like, I don't want to apologize. I don't... I don't know. Maybe they've moved on. Just, like, like just, just being an insecure little baby um, and wanting you to reach out first, wanting you to be the one and, you know taking charge of things. And so it's, it's like they've been fighting with themselves for, for quite a bit. And then I think that they're just going to, you know, they're just going to say, screw it. Maybe they're going to have a really bad day or something. And that's when they're just going to cave and reach out to you. And it, it's, it's a mixed energy though. Cause it's like, yeah, they might reveal a hidden truth, but they might not reveal everything. It's like they're choosing their words wisely. Like maybe they're going to tell you like, maybe you, maybe you suspected them of cheating, but they, and you, like you knew, like you caught them, but they denied it anyway, just for some of you. And maybe they're going to be like, maybe they're going to downplay it. Like maybe they cheated with a few people and they're going to be like, oh, I only cheated with this one person, you know, like something like that. Like it's, it's just that kind of energy where it's like, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to reveal more to you, but it's not enough. It's not quite enough. And I feel like you, you have this choice, you know, you have this choice. Do you want to go back to this or do you want new love? Um, I feel like this karmic cycle needs to wrap up for some, it's, for some, it's like you do kind of need to, um, to cut the cords if you haven't already, but you know, you will be tested. I see a lot of life changes coming for you within the next few months. Like this, the next few months is going to be, it's going to be emotional. It's going to be up and down. There's, there's. You know, lots of lots of old energy moving out and lots of new energy coming in. So, so that's what I have for you guys. As always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. But you can just uh, check the description box right below this video and you can just copy and paste that email and email me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe, you know, please share, like, comment, subscribe. You know, maybe someone you know needs to hear this. So, thanks.